Good morning, Floss Tube. It's Brandy with Every Home Needs a Gnome. It is an oofta kind of day. Um, and I'll tell you why. That is because my husband has been, for the past about five years, he's been working the swing shift, which has been um, both good and bad. For me, it works out pretty good because I tend to be kind of a swing shift person. Um, I like to keep more nighttime hours. And I'm not a super good early morning girl, but he is very much an early morning kind of guy. So swing shift has been very hard on him. I have a cat that might jump up on my lap, which is weird because she usually does not want love and affection. Her name is Steve. Um, and now that I'm talking, the dogs are waking up. Good, 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 good for everyone. Um, Anyway, so today my husband's schedule completely changed and he uh, uh, got switched to the day shift. So our day started, well, it wasn't supposed to start until 4.30 in the morning. And then the dogs woke up at 3.45. So, oofta. <laughs> um But hey, it's great to be back. Um, it has been a good long time since I've recorded. And I am sorry about that. Uh, let's talk Christmas, even though January is almost over. Um, yes, Christmas. Christmas, so many of you guys asked if I was able to go see my mom. And yes, I was. My brother uh, drove um, his wife and myself over across the mountain in the snow and the ice and we got to go see our mom and it was really nice it was the day after Christmas it was just the three of us that went over but my stepbrother had come over as well and um, so it was just really a good time to to visit and we watched a Charlie Brown Christmas together at my brother's request he's 50 I was delighted I was so happy that that was the thing he wanted to watch and um, and we made rosettes, which if you don't know, they're little Norwegian cookies. Um, there's a, there's a, um, some YouTubers named Arne and Carlos. That's the name of their channel and they are Norwegian and they actually have a tutorial making rosettes. So I recommend it to go watch it. Um, and they also do a lot of knitting, which I do not knit. I'm only there for the Norwegian stuff that they, that they do. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, it was a really delightful time with my, with my family. Um, and, uh, it was funny because while we were sitting around the dinner table, I blurted out rather by accident that I have a floss tube channel and I hadn't intended on telling everybody about my floss tube channel because I didn't want people to think I was crazy. Um, you know what I mean, right? You all get it. Um, and instead everyone <laughs> thought it was really cool. And turns out my brother also has a YouTube channel, not Flosstube, but a YouTube channel. Uh, he is a mechanic and he owns his own shop up the mountain. And, um, he's been, he's been doing car mechanic-y stuff for just about forever since he was probably 13, 14, 15 years old. Um, and so he's owned his own shop now for quite a while. And, uh, in his free time, which there's not a lot of it, but he's working on restoring a 1969 charger. And so he's doing kind of the video blog of, of that. And, uh, which I had no idea about. So it was really fun. So we kind of exchanged stories and um, subscribed to each other's channels. And that night we both ended up binge watching each other's videos and stayed up way too late. So if there is a person in your life who is interested in restoring cars or mechanics or whatever, um, I highly recommend you go check out Chris Page. Now, here's the thing. There are a lot of Chris Pages on YouTube. A lot. Um... So I'm going to link his show down below. Yeah. 
So anyway, um, that is that, except it's not really that. So while I was at my mom's house, um, a delightful thing happened. Um, remember how I said that she was making project bags? Well, she made project bags. Y'all, she made a lot of project bags. So let me just show you. I'm going to show you two of them. And what I did is I asked her to make um, like half half size project bags so that when the sheet is, when your pattern is folded in half, it can just all fit in there. So, so it fits in my purse easily. Um, I've since moved to a smaller purse. That wasn't smart. That might have to change. But anyway, here is one of the project bags. So that's, oh, here, I'll show you the back. Oh, yes. And so I asked her to also to put a little pocket on it um, for my scissors. So it's just a Velcro pocket right there. And then inside, ta-da, my scissors. Um, and I just think it's wonderful. And then um, she also, so the inside fabric is that. And then she did these little needle minders as well. Um, but the they don't really hold the needles very good. She used the right magnets and she just did like coordinating cloth. So I don't know, they're just, um, I'm not sure why it's not quite strong enough. It's weird. It's kind I mean, they kind of work, but not as good as either of us were expecting them to work. Um, but anyway, so there's that one. And then she made this, this cute little um, checked cloth. And look at that. It's, it's picnic ants. Y'all, it's picnic ants. Um, and there, there's another little pocket. This one isn't Velcroed. Um, but it's just super cute. You guys, so cute. Um, she made eight of these small bags for me. Eight, you guys. That's crazy. And then she made a large, like a full-size one, and she gave that one to my sister-in-law. So, um, I've told her that I'm always down for more project bags if she wants to keep making them, and she said she would. So we'll see. Um, she feels like they're not great quality because some of her, um, I don't know, some of her stitching lines aren't like perfectly straight. Whatever. Um, some of her corners aren't mitered. Whatever. You know, it's all good. Um, one thing that I think is funny is that because she's left-handed, she puts the zippers on the opposite direction. I didn't know that was a thing, y'all, but it is. I pointed it out to her because I just thought it was really funny. And she said on the next one, she's going to try to do it the right-handed way. I don't mind. It's not a bother at all. Um, I'm just delighted to have all these bags from my mom. Um, because she gifted me with so many of them, I... I'm thinking about gifting one or two to you, my floss tube friends, um, just as a way of saying thank you because because um, you guys are pretty amazing. That's why. Um, speaking of gifting things, a while back, like, I don't know, a thousand years ago or so, when I did a video, I had mentioned a book, um, a cross-stitching, like, bird book. You can, I'm sorry about the dogs in the back. I can't help it. Um, I really do love them. My, my best friend told me that, um, that I need to consider Milo as a rescue dog because every day I don't take him to the, to the adoption center, I've rescued him. I think she's right. Hey, Milo, stop. That will not last. Anyway, um, I had mentioned a bird book that I wanted to give away to, to one of my followers. And um, 
and Jesse C., you are the winner of the bird book. So I will make a comment um, to you to let you know that you won that and get your address and all that good stuff. And I'll get that sent out to you as soon as I can. Oh, my word. That's me calming down. It's delightful. Okay, let's talk whips. I only have one. Ah, but it's one I feel like I've been working on forever. Um, really, it's only been a, a few weeks, I guess. Oh, no, it's been longer than that. It's been forever. Anyway, it's Winter Cometh by Summer House Stitchworks. Um, there. See a little bit better. So I changed things up because... Um, well, I think that the color variation is, is interesting. Um, I had a floss from the Gentle Arts called Peacock that as soon as I saw this pattern, I knew immediately that was what I wanted to do, um, was use Peacock. And so I did. So here's what I have done. It's getting very close. Um, the bird... I didn't have quite enough of the peacock to do all of it, so I've chosen to do the, um, sorry, I thought I had a sun approaching. Um, I've chosen to do the bird and the scarf and the tree in a DMC that is coordinating. Um, so it seems like the light keeps changing. Oh no, whatever. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting there. But I haven't been working on this project as much as I'd like or any other whips as much as I'd like because, as some of you may know, I've been doing some designing, right? Pretty exciting. Um, to me, it's pretty exciting. I don't know. To you, maybe it's not. Um, but I've been having so, 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 so much fun. Um, I, If you know me at all, if you've watched any, any of my other videos, you know that I love to create and make things, hence some of the pictures you see behind me. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just, for, for, you know, for my birthday, my mom gifted me um, a program to design on, and I am loving it. So um, I have been making patterns for you to stitch, for me to stitch, for the whole world to stitch. Um, the first one, if you followed me on Instagram, you saw this. Um, it's called a gnome for you. And it's my skinny gnome. And I've just put them on a, made a little pin cushion on this little jar of scrap fabric. Um, that's what I did, whoops. Um, anyway, this is free. This pattern is free. It is on my blog because I made a blog. Y'all, it's crazy. Um, and it's called Every Home Needs a Gnome. Go figure. And um, so you can find this. It's not a downloadable. It's um, You have to just print it from the blog. I'm working on that. Um, but anyway, so that's on the blog if you're interested. Also, I just released, sounds so fancy, I just released um, my very first like PDF pattern for purchase, which is Heart in the Hand. And it says, friendship is the sweetest form of love. And I just finished it with little, um, I, I coffee stained these pom-poms myself. They were like stark white and I just coffee stained it to match the linen. And then on the back, I finished it in a, a pink batik. And the color's not super true. I don't know. But anyway, that's that. Um, and that pattern you can find on my Etsy store, um, which I will also have linked below. And that's the Every Home Needs a Gnome store. Um, my store is kind of going to undergo some changes, um, which I'll talk about in just a little bit. Um, and then I have one more that I'm working on. Actually, I have several more that I'm working on, but um, here's just like a little taste of the colors. Taste of colors. Um, I wanted to have this one released by 
like the 1st of January, clearly did not happen. So now the aim is by the end of January. We'll see. Um, but I'm having so much fun, you guys. It's so fun to, to be able to have this idea in your head of what you want to, to see stitched and then to um, put it into this program and and then stitch it. And it's so, because I'm, because I've never done this before, um, it's interesting as I'm, as I'm stitching at this piece that I've designed, I'm realizing, oh, I don't like this color choice or, oh, I need to add or take away stitches or whatever. So I just have such a, a newfound respect for all of the designers out there. Um, y'all are amazing. And, um, but how fun is it? It's so much fun. So, um, I'm really looking forward to just keeping doing that. I don't, you know, I mean, if people are interested and they want to stitch what I design, that's awesome. I'm happy to, to share that. Um, if people aren't interested, I'll just keep designing for myself because I'm totally enjoying it. So, uh, either way, it's all good for me. Um, so yeah. Oh, let's talk about my shop because, um, so I actually have two, two Etsy stores. Now I know that there are some people that have multiple, like more than two Etsy stores and y'all, those people are crazy. Um, cause even two is really hard to keep track of. So one of my stores is called Bojo Mojo Designs and, um, that has featured my hand lettering and journals and that kind of thing. Um, and then I have my, my gnome shop, which has featured my gnomes that are up for adoption. So, um, I don't do the hand lettering anymore. Um, I do for myself, sometimes for fun, but not to sell. And I have a pretty considerable stock right now. Um, and I've got prints of a lot of my drawings. Um, no puppy, you cannot jump up on my lap. Um, no, 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 baby. No, no. Okay. Oh, yes, she can. Well, that's Bella. This is Bella. Bella, say hi to the camera. Say hello. Hello, Fostube. Isn't she cute? She's a brick. You guys, she's so fat. We have not done this dog any favors, but she's cute. You know, we love her mostly. Um, anyway, so, um, I'm, I'm going to move to one shop and I think what I'm going to end up doing is, um, is just keeping the Bojo Mojo designs shop and, um, because then that can include my gnomes and cross stitch designs and, you know, that kind of, it can kind of all fit together a little bit better, I think. And it will be less chaotic for me. So what I'm doing is today I'm going to start listing um, the things that are in my Bojo Mojo shop at half off. Or up to half off anyway. Um, and I'm just going to try to clear out as much stuff as I can just to make space um, for myself here. And, um, and then I'm going to start listing... Um, things through the Bojo Mojo Designs name. So the whole name is going to kind of eventually change. Um, but that's, we'll talk about that later. So that's down the road a little bit. Um, anyway, because you know, I'm all about gnomes, right? Like that's never going to change. I love me some gnomes. Um, but what that kind of looks like in life might change. So anyway. Um, but that being said, I am planning on releasing, continuing to release, um, <sighs> crazy dogs. I am planning on continuing to release, um, a thematic gnome every, oh my gosh, um, a, a thematic gnome every month that goes along with the month. They're just play fighting. They do this all the time. They like to do this like right up against my legs, which I'm thankful that they're, 
currently three feet away from me. <laughs> at least. Okay. Um, so that's that. Um, oh, but for the Bojo Mojo sale, the journals won't be included in that, just so you know. Um, because they just won't. Because selling those at half price would be kind of ridiculous. Is why. So, anyway. Um, I only have a couple more things to say. And one of them is a great big huge fat thank you to... <laughs> not my dogs. Not thanking my dogs. Um, is to a friend um, from Flosstube named Daylene. Because she requested... Um, a week or so ago, um, an address because she had said that she made something for me. And wow, the light, the sun just came out and it's so bright. Um, and so I gave her a, a post office box number to, to send this delightful little gift to. And um, I went down to the post office the other day and I was blown away. I was totally blown away. Um, such a wonderful sweet gift so um pretty little card it looks like Daylene did you take this photo I'm thinking you did because that is a photo it's beautiful I love it if you photograph things keep doing it it's beautiful um and then see I haven't I haven't used any of this clearly because here's chocolate you all I love chocolate it's chocolate she lives up in Washington um, so, and the Space Needle, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you about the Space Needle. Okay, when I was four or five, probably about five, um, our family went on a trip to Canada. I think this was all the same trip. I don't know. I know we were up in Seattle for a time, and, um... And we took a ferry, and I had Mickey Mouse ears. This is all really weird, but I swear to God it happened. Um, I had Mickey Mouse ears. We did not go to Disneyland. Somebody brought them back from Disneyland for me, and, um, and then I lost them, and that's tragic. But the Space Needle. We went there for lunch. And it was the coolest thing to be up in this rotating tower over the city, just looking out and eating lunch. And I thought, because I was a very um, egocentric child, I thought that, this, that the um, Space Needle had been built just for me. I was pretty sure. Because I was so delighted by it, I figured it must have just been for my good pleasure. Um, and it was a lot of good pleasure. So anyway, that's just a funny aside. Back to my lovely gift. Um, she also sent me this cute little bag that's all in French with some floss tags that she created. So those are cute. Doo -doo -doo. And then it was all wrapped in this delightful tissue paper ribbon and feathers. And here's the piece de resistance. I can't speak French. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a project bag. But you all, look at this. It's got gnomes. It's got, it's got gnomes. Is that just the cutest? It's so cute. And then it says made with love. And then this is so priceless. I saw this at the store a while back and I thought, oh, how cute. But I didn't have a reason to buy it. But it's a little gnome door. Um, lock it. It's too cute. It's just too cute. Oh my goodness. And I just, I cannot get over these gnomes. Look at them. They are adorable. That is adorable. So now that I've shown it to you guys, I'm going to finally put some stuff in here. And I'm so excited. Um, Daylene, thank you. That was a, a lovely gift. And I can't.
can't tell you how much that means to me. Um, I've, I've gotten two gifts from, from people that watch these videos and I feel enormously blessed um, by not only the generosity of, of actual tangible gifts, but just the generosity of encouragement and, um, and the kindness of people, um, my goodness sakes, it, this is such a, this is such a great community. And, um, and I've really, really valued being a part of it. Um, in a, in a dark and dreary world, it's nice to have a little corner where we can find some respite together. Um, I just think it's delightful. So, um, thank you so much for, for sharing that with me. Um, I wanted to ask you guys too, somebody, um, actually I think a couple somebodies have mentioned me possibly doing a stitch along. Um, and so I wanted to talk to you guys about that because I think that that would be fun. But like I watch, um, Michelle G over at Bendy Stitchy, her stitch alongs, and she's got this beautiful setup that her husband, um, Put together for her where she's got the, like one camera that shows her face and then she's got another camera the the main camera that shows her actually stitching and it works out really really good because you get to see her while she's chatting but you also get to follow along with her stitching and I really enjoy that um, I don't have the capacity to do that kind of a video because I don't I just don't have that capacity um, and so I'm wondering, do you guys prefer to see this, the actual stitching or do you prefer to see the face of who you're stitching, who's stitching, or do you prefer like what Kitten Stitcher does where she kind of sits back and you are just like seeing her sitting in a chair stitching while she's chatting? Um, I don't know. What do you guys like? Um, I can only have one camera view. So, uh, depending on what people say, I might just do a stitch along. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, I, th I think that's it. That's all my notes say. Um, I wanted to, I want to keep, let's see, I want to keep the conversation going about mental health. Um, the reason being because a lot of people responded with my last video about how much they appreciated me talking about mental health and um, kind of, I think, just sharing in the journey a little bit. Um, you know, clearly depression and, and all those things aren't um, issues that only happen surrounding the holidays. They can hit on the brightest, sunniest, best day of the year. Um, you can be at Disneyland and feel depressed, and that's just a reality. Um, mental health is, is real, and, and I think the more we talk about it, the, the less it, it stigmatizes or is, stays stigmatized. You know what I mean? Um, if we can talk about it openly and honestly and... Um, and really let people into that process of, of um, trying to find kind of our own mental stability, I guess. Um, I think that it just shows the world that, you know, we're all vulnerable. We're all in the same place, really. Um, you know, when it comes right down to it, we're all made of the same stuff, right? Uh, we've all got fragile bodies and we've got fragile hearts and minds. And even the strongest amongst us has has points of weakness and um and that's okay that's not anything to be ashamed of that's not anything to to hide away um but we also don't want to just relish and wallow in our own self-pity and um and depression and anxiety and all those things so um so let's talk about it right um i don't want to make this channel all about that obviously because it's meant to be about stitching and the fun of being part of this wonderful stitchy community and sharing projects and all of that but I think also like I look at, at cross stitching very much as a therapy for for myself and and I know a lot of you guys do too it's the 
that methodical repetition and um, and being able to then kind of put your your mind and your energies into something that at the end is beautiful um, and and how how good of a therapy is that right so um, so let's just keep the dialogue going if you have also um, if you've got issues that you're trying to work through and you'd love to talk to somebody about it but you don't want to speak in a public forum like in the comments below I get that I totally get that and I would not ask you or expect you to just share with the world just I share with the world because I have no filter like let's be honest um, and anyway <laughs> I just have no filter uh, but if that is like, if you have a filter and, and you're like more into decorum and that kind of thing, or if you're, if what you're dealing with is just big and complex and, um, involves other people or whatever, and you just need to talk to somebody kind of more one-on-one, -on -one, would you please, um, let me know in the comments that you would like my email address or actually I'll just post my email address um, in in the comments below or in the show notes. Um, DM me, do whatever. Like I, I can't, I can't solve your problems at all. I can't even solve my own problems. Um, but what I can do is I can help encourage and I can, um, be a sounding board maybe I'll have a word of wisdom if you want it um, but but maybe all you want is just to know that somebody else has heard you and and I can do that I can totally do that so um, yeah I keep looking out my window because it's so bright <laughs> I don't know um, yeah uh, anyway I think that's it, you guys. Um, I think that's it. I suddenly forgot how to end a video. I don't know. It's really, it's been one of those days. I actually, I took a nap after the waking up at 345. I finally took a nap, but it was a terrible nap. Um, it was an hour of a lot of interruption. That's not a good nap. Mm. And I have a heart thing, so I drink caffeine free. This isn't even go juicy, people. But I still love it. So, anyway. Okay, I'm just rambling now, so I'm going to go. Um, you guys have a really amazing day. And stitch on. All right. See you next time. Bye.